Pink Pinky here with you and we're here for day 16 of 30 inks in 30 days and today I want to start off um, a little bit different I want to share with you guys you see me use um, some leftover papers to wipe my paintbrush and so I had a bunch of them and I wanted to share with you guys what I did with them so I made some postcards and I used some snarky co comments on them so you can find these in my Etsy store. There's two sets. There's a set of, of little kids and there's a set of adults. So let's start off with the adults because we already looked at that one. So this one says, where's the unsubscribe um, button to adulthood? Then you've got this one that says, my favorite thing to make for dinner is a re reservation. I, I so agree. And I love how the background, like how they turned out she said that's a lot of money to spend on craft and I knew we couldn't be friends yeah I totally agree with that I was going to give you a nasty look but I see I already have one and my level of sarcasm has gotten to the point where I don't even know if I'm kidding or not so that's one set and they're all made with recycled uh, cardboard and then recycled file folders and obviously uh, this which is my painty um, fountain pen paper and some magazine pages and the Tim Holtz sentiment uh, because there's fountain pen ink on them I wouldn't put them directly in the mail just because if they get wet it's gonna run so I would put those in envelopes if uh, you are to use them so this one says relax we're all crazy it's not a competition not my circus, not my monkeys, my monkeys fly. <laughs> I just think she's so adorable. Uh, I've got it all together, but I forgot where I put it. Yeah, that's exactly me when I clean up. I would like to confirm that I do not care. And look how much fun he looks like he has. And a penny for your thoughts seems a little pricey. So those are the two sets that can be found in my Etsy store in case you're interested. I also shared uh, this morning a video on making um, my art journal page with some of the citrus, um, the classic citrus black. And you can see <laughs> I made a whole mess. I had some all over my desk once that was finished. Um, but it was a lot of fun and I've got already a paper started so I can wipe my brush on that and get that one going. So today we're here with uh, the ink flight number 39 the last sample which was sample 7 and it's the troublemaker basilica red so this is my first time using this um, brand of ink I don't I don't have any other uh, ink from them and I already um, prepped my Lamy I haven't used Lamy's for a long time and I figured why not use one for for this um, this one is uh, a medium nib and I've already put ink all over my fingers because that's just the way I roll I guess so we'll start off the chromatography and I forgot again to pull out a poem to use this one we did already and I think it's gonna be one with uh, something to do with love because of the fact that it's a red, reddish type of ink. Um, so we do have never give all your heart, all the heart. So let's use that one. Okay, so we're going to do that. But first of all, let's do some splotches because that's the fun part of this thing. And shake, shake, shake. I've been trying to find little containers for this and I still haven't found anything that works better than this little shot glass. So I saw, I think it's Manda, Manda that has a little uh, toothpaste, uh, toothbrush holder or something that's super cute. I've never seen one of those. And I look, 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 but I couldn't find anything. That was close to that so hopefully one day I'll find something 
Okay, there's still way too much ink in here. I'm getting better at judging how much ink I've got, which is really cool. And I had so much fun making that journaling page. So definitely we'll be using uh, this more. Not sure I can fill it up another pen with this. So if I can't, uh, that's what's gonna happen with it. Oh, I forgot to do my, I forgot to do the paintbrush part. So you can see it's kind of a red, orangey, brown color. So it's an interesting color. It's it's definitely one that you could use for for letter writing. We'll see how it writes in the Lamy. I haven't used my Lamys in such a long time. I don't really know why I'm not that much of a fan. maybe this will bring it back that's why I was trying to use different different um, pens so that I use the ones I don't always use troublemaker Basilica. I'm gonna try even like after this month to use in my lineup at least uh, a few pens that I don't gravitate towards I'm starting to have a really nice big collection so it's really fun so this is my Lamy uh, Safari black What's that? medium nib. it writes well definitely writes well so I don't know why I stopped writing with it Oops, never give all the heart by W B Eats. Never give all the heart for love. Will hardly seem worth thinking of to passionate woman if it seem certain. And they never dream that, whoops, that it fades out from kiss to kiss. for everything that's lovely is but a brief dreamy kind delight Oh, never give the heart outright. For they, <clears throat> for they 
for all. Smoke lips can say have given their hearts up to the play and who could play it well enough if deaf and dumb and blind with love he that made this known knows all the cost it's really juicy that pen um, for he gave all his heart and loss. That's kind of sad. So, it's really juicy. And that must be the mailman. Yeah, so that's very juicy. I'm uh, very uh, happy with it. And let's check out the chromatography. And here it is. It's very surprising how much pink is in there. And then you end up with the darker, much darker uh, ink. So, I'm sorry about that, but I don't control them much when the postman comes. I don't know why dogs hate postmen so much. Um, it seems to be a generalized thing. So, here it goes. I really love those platters. Like, if I don't have enough to put in a pen, for sure that's going to be a lot of fun to use in uh, making art. Because there's, like, a lot of shading and black that you can see in this. Like, it's really cool. And that makes sense with, when you look at this uh, big dark spot over here. I'm just very surprised with all the pink. I didn't expect that. So, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. And now you know what I do with these leftover papers. So, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful Friday and see you tomorrow. Bye.